This is Abe Friedtanzer from Awards Watch, and I'm thrilled to be speaking with Marianne Farley about her short film, Free Ma, which is on the Oscar shortlist for best live action short. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks for having me. This is of great. Of course, of course, I'm doing great. This film is very powerful, and this is obviously an important issue for you. Is this mobile abortion clinic based on true stories or a specific instance? No, no, not necessarily. It was just, um, you know, it was just for me, the idea, like looking back on what happened in the 1960s, what happened in the 1970s, where, you know, women would get illegal abortions in like hotel rooms or in like private homes. Um, you know, the idea was, what would that look like in 2028, you know, with the new technology and, and how would women go about, you know, getting these abortions uh, without, you know, risking you know, getting caught by by the authorities. So I think that's that's where the whole idea of, of a moving truck came to me. And it does sort of make it a bit like a thriller, which is not something we tend to see. I think there are other films like Four Months, Three Weeks and Two Days, mm -hmm. Never Rarely, Sometimes Always and Happening uh, and many, many more that are sort of they might describe them as as draining dramas, but not really a fast paced thriller like this. Did you want to have that as the genre for a specific reason here? Well, I, I don't think it was necessarily a conscious decision, but I think it, it probably arose from the fact that I, you know, really uh, have fear when it comes to these, these, you know, fundamental human rights and these women's rights issues, um, like abortion rights. And um, because, in, you know, in, in my view, time is of the essence, we have to talk about this, we do have to, you know, get get into these issues. Um, you know, as it's happening in the United States, um, you know, when I was reading, when I was writing this story, I, and reading up on the subject, I kind of could see that it was going to happen, that this, this whole, uh, that all these laws were going to come forward. And they started happening, like, you know, the next the year after I started writing the film. So, so for me, it was like, you know, um, uh, as I said, time is of the essence. We have to we have to talk about this. We have to stand up for what we believe in to protect these these rights for women. Of course. And have you received any surprising reactions from those who have seen the film? I think a lot of you know. I think a lot of it's a it's a difficult film to watch. I'm really conscious of that. It's not. It's definitely not you know an easy film. As you said, it's fast paced and it's, it's a there is like a thriller you know um, feel to it. Um, I think for some people, it's a difficult film to watch, uh, you know, ab abortion, it, abortions, it, rights are not, it's not like the sexiest, <laughs> you know, theme that, um, that I could, I could have, uh, decided to tackle, but, um, but it was really important to me. It was like vital to me that I talk about this and that I, I bring this story forward. Absolutely. And, and on that note, has there, have you received any pushback? Cause there are obviously those who don't want films like this to be made. I mean, I've, I've gotten comments, obviously, um, but but that just, it comes with the territory. I think it's just, you know, you want to make films that are important to you. So not everyone is going to agree with your point of view. Not everyone agrees with the point of view that I have in this film um, or that I have in life in general. And that's, and that's okay. You know, that's, um, that's life. And I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's what I set out to do is, is like spark these conversations. So I'm glad that that's, that's happening, that's working, yeah. I agree. Well, thank you so much for making this film and for taking the time to speak with me today and best of luck in the Oscar race. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks.